Hi everybody and welcome to the Family Workout today with me, Stefan. I hope you are well and ready to follow along with me at home. Now, if you haven't seen the Family Workouts before today, these are fun, high energy workouts. They're designed for anyone in the family to take part in and have a go with. If there are any exercises that you think today are a little bit too demanding, you can of course put in your own exercises. You can do marching on the spot, you can go with a jump jack, okay, or you can go with some squats, or you can simply recover, take a pause, and jump back in with us with what we're doing when you're ready to. The idea is that every Everyone has fun, enjoys these workouts, but most importantly, you work out at a level that is right for you. The workout today is gonna to go like this. It's gonna be four minutes for our warm up and four minutes for our cool down. Right in the middle is the workout itself and it's split into three rounds of work. Each round is split into three minutes, three one minute working intervals, 30 seconds of recovery, and each of those minutes is split into two 30 second exercises. So if you are ready, I am ready. We're gonna get this timer started and the workout underway okay our first move we're going to go high and low with a nice diagonal rotation moving the feet okay notice how i'm moving my feet letting the back foot come up on the ball of the toe and rotate around our warm-up is always starting off with these big movements the whole body ankles knees hips shoulders everything working building up that heart rate building up the warmth in the body getting us ready for exercise Okay, low to high, or high to low. Doesn't really matter where you start with those hands, but we're taking a nice, smooth movement all the way through. Now, if you haven't got so much room, bring those hands in close, okay? If there's anything in the lounge or wherever you're exercising, you don't want to bump into anything or anyone, but if you can, bring those arms right the way around. Okay, from here, ski jumpers. Hands down, and then hands up. Again. Breathing out on the way up, in on the way down. Again, ankles, knees, and hips. Notice how I'm keeping my balance way into the heels, nice and tall at the top, reaching up. That's it, one more. Okay, from here what we're gonna do, we're gonna widen the stance, we're gonna go with one hand across, and then across, okay? So reaching the fingertips to the toes. Again, if you haven't got so much room, just don't reach those arms out as far, but if you have, and you can, then bring those arms right the way around. Again, a big movement, hips, ankles, knees, the body as well, shoulders, getting everything nice and loose and ready for the workout. All right, from here, we're gonna take a big circular movement with the knee up, out, and around. Now, it's fine to take a step and get your balance, almost like you're getting ready to kick a ball, but you're just gonna bring that knee up. This one great for the hips. Okay, one leg moving, one leg supporting, holding you up. Again, ankles, knees, and hips. A couple more, a little bit of movement for the upper body, mainly for balance. Okay, from here we're gonna take a step, and we're gonna reach. Doesn't need to be a big step, and to start with, doesn't need to be a big reach as well, but you can increase if you've got room, you can increase how far out you reach, giving yourself a bit of a challenge in terms of balance and stretching whilst we warm up and move the upper body and the lower body. Keep steady and stable, otherwise you can move wherever you want to and test that balance. Whoa. All right, one more. Okay, how are we doing for time? All right, just over a minute. We're gonna come down to the floor, walk those hands forwards. We're gonna take one foot forward, and then we're gonna look up and reach up. Hand back to the floor, switch the feet, take that step. Same side hand reaches up. I'm gonna go one more, step, reach, stretch up, and then back. Step, reach up. And then back, we're gonna walk those hands back to those feet. All right, from here, we're gonna build that heart rate a little bit. So, just bring the knees up a little bit, shaking out those arms. Okay, in a moment, we're gonna go through the first two exercises of our first minute of work. Okay, a little bit of jumping jack. Love this move. All right, so our first minute of work, is featuring that jump jack. It's going to be jump squats, okay? Okay, so you can see, and then jump jacks. 30 seconds of each exercise. All right, five seconds, ready to go. If you need to go less height with this squat jump, you can. 
So, as I say, if you need to just make this a squat, that is fine. But if you can, add in that jump. It could be smaller jumps. Okay, again, work in a way that is right for you from the side. So you can see how I'm sitting my hips back, body forward, pushing with the arms. 10 seconds, keeping nice and balanced, pushing glutes, quads, hamstrings, all working together. Whew, jumping jacks. So, again, these can be as big or as small of a movement as you've got room for and as you can manage. We're really chopping those arms up and down to get the muscles working. Working now until we hear that buzzer. Breathe with the movements of the body. There we go. And there it is, 30 seconds recovery. So our second minute of work is heel kicks combined with that jump jack. So heel kicks, you can hands to the hips or you can move those hands with it and then jumping jacks as well to follow up. That open window, just about five seconds. Okay, are we ready? This is a fast pace. Okay, so from here, heels kicked. Again, you can have those hands to feel those heels kick, or you can move the arms as well. That's gonna build that heart rate a little bit more and build that fitness up a little bit more. Okay, we got five seconds. Then out five seconds and back to those jump jacks. We know them well. A big movement. So a lot of work from the heart, from the lungs to power this one. Okay, light on those toes. Fast if you can. Let's speed that up. Whole body. Upper body, lower body, shoulders, arms, legs, everything working. And last few seconds, listening for that buzzer. Woo. Nice work. Okay, we've got one more minute for our first round, and it is mountain climbers with jump jack. Mountain climbers, hands on the floor, one knee forward, and then you're up on those toes, driving those knees forward. Jumping jacks, our second exercise. So this first minute, all about getting that heart rate up. All about building that fitness up. Okay, let's go to the floor. Light on the toes, moving my knees forwards and keeping those low to the ground as I can work with. Anytime you need a pause, just go to a knee, rest and jump back in when you can, 10 seconds, all right, five, four, three, two, one, here we go, jumping jacks, for last time in this round, last time in this workout today, okay, you match the pace to what is right for you, and if you can, keep those arms and legs moving. Not long till we hear that buzzer, and there it is. Nice work. Okay, that is round one done. On to round two. Okay, so we have press ups to start and chop, chop, ninja press ups. Now you can go from the knees or from the toes. I like to turn the palms out slightly because it's a stronger position for the shoulders and it doesn't matter what position is right for you. Okay, make it right for you. Chop, chop, ninja. Planting those feet, hunker down, one arm at a time, chopping. Great for the arms, for the shoulders and for the midsection as well. Press ups, shoulders and chest and core. Are we ready? Here it is. 30 seconds, breathing out as we come up. Again, you might start from the toes and then go to the knees. And the pace is controlled. 
That's it. Breathing out as we push up. We've got 10 seconds more. 10 seconds. Core strong, belly button pulling in towards the spine. One more. And onto our feet. And it's chop, chop ninja. Those arms moving a bit slower after those press ups. But chop, chop them down while you're breaking a timber, a brick in two with that karate chop. Twist the body. Feel those obliques working, those abdominal muscles working as we twist. Heart rate whew, through the roof with that one. So we have now down dog, toe touch, and chop chop ninja. So we're going for down dog. That position is up with those hips up on the toes and you're gonna to touch one foot with the opposite hand. You can widen the stance and go. All right. Five seconds, breathe. Little sips of water if you're taking on fluids. Here we go. Down dog, toe touch. One, one. That's it, pushing back, two, two. Push with the hand, push, push the hips up and reach back. A good one for the shoulders, upper body and core working. Bit of a stretch in those hamstrings for the legs. And here we go, chop, chop ninja. Hard work doing the same exercise, three times running. It certainly does challenge you. <sighs> Driving those arms up and down. Biceps and triceps working along with the shoulders and the midsection as well. Don't forget that core. Navel drawing in. <sighs> and there we go, 30 seconds. One more minute of round two. So we've got plank step outs and chop chop ninja. Plank step outs, we're gonna go wide with the feet, step, 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 step. All right, so you're pushing your body from side to side, and then we're up on our feet for that chop, chop ninja. All right, once again, feet planted firm, twisting the body. Right now though, hands narrow, feet wide, step, and back to that midline, step, and push. You're pushing as you step out, pushing back, in the other direction, using those arms, using those shoulder muscles. And again, don't forget the core. Keep those feet wide for a nice, stable, strong, balanced position. Three, two, one, and up onto those feet. Chop, chop. Here we go, hunger down, get the body low and fast as you chop across from side to side. Really working those arms and shoulders. Try to get fast. All the way until we hear that buzzer. And there we go. Whew, nice work. If you've worked through every minute so far, give yourself that high five. Okay, we've got three more to go. Cross body chop and bicycle crunches. Okay, so cross body chop, hands together from the side, hunker down again, arms out, and we're gonna chop across, keeping the hips fixed to work the midsection. Bicycle crunches, one leg, and then the opposite knee. Okay, elbow and knee coming together. Get a mat ready for that one. We'll go into that in just a moment. But right now, it's cross body chops. That's it. Plant those feet into the floor like they're glued on the spot. Body tall and twist from the midsection. That's where we're twisting from. We're really working those stomach muscles. Again, pull that navel in, strong. Strong through the body, fast with that pace. Two, one, 
Time to change it to the floor, lying down. Okay, opposite, if you can. Anytime you need a pause, drop those feet to the floor. But we are looking to keep the upper back and the shoulders off of the floor if we can. Twist, elbow to knee. This is a tough one, so pause if and when you need to. And whew, there we go, minute one done. Up onto our feet. And here we have figure of eight, figure of eight chops, okay. Hands together, and we are chopping that figure of eight like we're waving the flag at the finish line of a Grand Prix. Okay, figure of eight, and then bicycle crunches again back onto the mat. Just under, just over five seconds. Hands together, arms out long. Base your feet nice and strong into the floor, and twist. Make that chop, that figure of eight up and down. This one, again, a really good one for your core. Keeping the hips and the knees and the feet in place. So from the waist up, that's where we're moving. We've got five seconds left now. Five, four, three, two, one. And back to our bicycle crunches once again. One leg out, fingers to temples, and twist like you're crunching that elbow and knee together draw that belly button down towards the mat down to the floor and less than 10 seconds leg reaching out just as far as you can all right just one more minute to go and we have got okay plank with hip twists onto the floor with those elbows, knee, uh, elbows, forearms and wrists up on the toes and twist. Okay, anytime you need a pause, you can go to those knees. And once again, it's bicycle crunches to finish. Right now, twist. Just twisting those feet, twisting the hips. Okay, it's 30 seconds. Keep that core strong. And again, any time you need a pause, knees onto the floor, belly button pulling in and upwards as we rock from side to side. Whew. Three, two, one, and bicycle crunches. Last exercise of the workout. 20 seconds. Working if you can until you hear that buzzer go. Twist. Again, rest if you need to. And then jump back in when you can. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> we did it. Well done. Indeed, if you've worked and given it your all, through that whole workout. That was a tough one. Well done indeed. We're gonna come up onto our feet. Okay, resist that temptation to simply crash out on the floor, get those arms and legs moving, keep that blood going around the body. It will stop you from feeling dizzy. We're gonna get into our cool down. We're gonna go hands on hips. I'm gonna go with some big, big circles all the way around. Nice and slow. We're going to bring the heart rate and the breathing down now over this next four minutes. Back in the other direction. Ankles, knees, and hips. It's a little bit like our warm up, but this time we're slowing it down rather than speeding it up. Nice big movements. All right, from here on, or on the floor with the feet square, hands are going to come across, and we're just going to let that ball. Of the toe roll around at a heel lift as we move from side to side. Hands closer in if you haven't as much room, but if you have, all the way around as far as it's comfortable for you. All right, from here, 
feet square once again. We're going to bring one arm up, around, and go for four more. Thumb up, turn, thumb up, turn the body. That's it, up, turn, and back round. We've got two more on this side. Thumb up, turn the body, turn the hand, and around. All right, from here, thumb up, open up. That's it, turn the body with this movement. Nice big turn, up, turn, and around. And we've got one more. Lift and turn. Nice work. From here, we're going to go into our ski jumpers, okay? So we did these as part of our warm up. Again, nice and slow with the movement. We're slowing everything down. Again, we're getting the ankles, the knees, the hips, the shoulders, the body. <sighs> Loosening off and moving with this last one. All right, from here, we're going to turn. Okay, widen the feet, turn the feet to one side. The rear hand is gonna reach up, straight legs, and I'm gonna reach down to the floor. Fingertips, if you can, to the floor. Okay, hold that position, and then we're gonna reach up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go for one more. Reaching down, straight legs, hand against the leg for balance. Open up to feel that stretch across the chest, the side of the body, and this leg as well. And then we're reaching up, turn the feet, okay, rear foot, rear hand comes up, front leg, front hand comes down, balancing, resting against the leg, holding it, and then reaching back up, nice and tall with that reach, back down to the floor, gonna hold it there for a moment, if you can, fingers to the floor, if not, just as low as you're able to go, Stretch and reach back up. All right, we're going to come down now, walking those hands down and one foot coming forward. Foot flat to the floor, same side hand reaches up, it's going underneath the body. Feel that stretch in the hip as you reach across, back up another time underneath and then. Hand back to the floor. Switch the feet. Step, foot flat to the floor. Same side hand up and underneath. Getting a lot of the body with just this one move of these two positions. Reaching up underneath a second time. And then hand back to the floor. Feet back and walking the hands back. Hold that position. For just a moment more. Activity completed. That's it, well done. Stretching the hamstrings, the calves, the back. Lastly, we're going to come up nice and slowly. Head down until the last moment, shoulders relaxed. Big movement all the way around with those shoulders. And that is it. We are done with this workout today. Give yourself that big high five. Well done. If you've given it your all through all three of these rounds, every exercise, you have done an amazing workout today. Fantastic job. I will see you again uh, very soon for another family workout. In the meantime, take care.